Hi, welcome to Expert Ezra Academy. This is Giri, lecturer in physics. In this video, we discuss about the energy losses in transformer. So before starting this, energy loss in a transformer. We should know about the, the device transformer. Transformer, it is a electronic device which transfers the current electricity with same voltage from one place to another place. So that is transformer. So in this transformer, we have three parts. That is primary coil, iron core secondary coil so look at here this is the primary coils so this is the secondary coil this is the iron core Let's go for the energy losses in transformer. The first type of loss in energy in the transformer is flux leakage. Energy is lost when all the flux produced by the primary pass through the secondary flux leakage so flux means so what is the meaning of flux so here the power or current transmit from primary coil to secondary coil. In this situation, the current carrying wire produces the field lines due to the electric field. The number of field lines passing through some area that is flux. So here flux quantity is reduced. So here flux quantity is reduced from primary coil to secondary coil. Next, resistance of buildings. Energy is lost due to the heat produced in the windings. So here, the energy is produced in the windings. Here, here energy is not a normal power or electric energy. So here, energy is nothing but here. In particular buildings that is resistance. So resistance increase in the buildings. So that's why heat is produced. Actually, the resistance concept 
that refers to all that is wherever any conductor the flow of current is always opposed by the resistance in the resistor so this resistor if it is in the circuit so here energy is lost due to heat produced in the windings next eddy currents energy in the form of heat is lost due to the eddy currents in the iron core so eddy currents it's nothing but a there is already localized current in the circuit this localized current produces the opposite way of current in the this circuit placed on one electrically charged surface or electrically conducted surface so here this eddy currents produces the heat so then the energy loss advantages of alternate current in long distance power transmission the electric power generated is transmitted over long distance through transmission lines to reach towns or cities where it is actually consumed this process is called power transmission so here due to alternate source in long distance the power loss is very less it is easy to transmit and also it gives the higher amount of power energy so these are the advantages next alternate emf alternate electromotive force consider the changes in the emf that means positive and negative emf so here the change is starts at the origin of this two dimensional plane so this wave represents the sinusoidal wave so this is the maximum of the emf this is the minimum of the emf this is the maximum but in opposite direction so the alternating emf that is equal to e is equal to e not sin omega t so here omega t represents phase of alternating emf omega represents angular speed next alternate current here also there is a change in electric current with respect to positive aspect and negative aspect here the current change with respect to negative and positive aspects of the currents so this wave is starts at the origin point on this two here also we have a sinusoidal wave this one represents maximum these two are represents 
minimum of the connects. This is maximum but in opposite direction. So this is the information about the alternating EMF alternating current. So thanks for watching this video. For more videos visit www.expertizeracademy.com. Thank you.